Yo, this mount is cool, but uh, I don't want to be a butterfly. It's so cold I'm pretty confident to say that this map is actually pretty easy to complete. And as you guys can see on our roster, we don't even have like a full roster actually. It's only gonna be five units guys. Well actually, I'm not sure yet if we can kill the boss later. But if ever we are not gonna kill the boss, then it means that we actually need like, um, what was that? Six star Jotaro. But we're gonna try to beat this guys without six star Jotaro just to see and also just to measure the full extent of our strategy. I mean, the previous stage guys, the boss actually died over here. So it depends guys, it really depends. Maybe I would change a little bit on how I upgraded, especially our Gilgamesh. But yeah, anyway, guys, first things first, since this is a pretty long map, you can actually place your first bull mine and upgrade her to upgrade number one. And the next thing that you need to do is just to, well, just to wait for 200. By the way, guys, the orb that we are using right now, the fire orbs will be on our Gilgamesh and also the Bomba Orb will be on our Kuma. For those who are looking for Golden F or Golden Frieza Orb, it only works obviously on Golden Frieza. And I think the Golden Frieza is also a very good unit here, but I just wanted to use Kuma because why not? I mean, <laughs> we're only going to be using five units anyway. Again, guys. I still haven't completed it, but I will be using the same strategy how I destroyed the first five stages. If we're gonna die, then it means that we legit need Jotaro for his time stop. At the end of the day, guys, the strategy will be the same and the money that you will be spending on Gilgamesh will just go straight to Jotaro instead. So yeah, nothing for you guys to worry about. All right, so basically we're just gonna wait for some cash. There you go. And that would lead us to killing all of these accelerates here. All right, so wait number four, we are going to upgrade our Bulma farm, at least one of them, to upgrade number two. And you should have enough time. Actually, we have a pretty bad RNG here, but yeah, that's okay, I guess. All right, so 743, 781, okay, there you go. All right, so we now have one upgrade number one Bulma and one upgrade number two. Bulma. Okay, so the next thing that we need to save up for is, um, yeah, 1,500, yep. 1,500 guys to upgrade the upgrade number two Bulma once more so that we will be able to get like a lot of cash. And I think that, yeah, after killing this, we will have 1,300 plus. Yeah, but after you see the wave clear, you should have enough cash or you should have more than enough cash to upgrade our Bulma here. By the way, guys, the reason why I'm always going here in the wall, I mean, the map looks good, no doubt about that. And also, like, it is ice and I'm snow and you guys know that I love being cold. But the thing is, it's so hard to freaking maneuver here. Look at that. <laughs> so that's the reason why I'll be staying here up on the wall. But anyway, guys, wave number six, uh, we are now going to place our very first Kuma no upgrades guys and just leave his priority to first because we need to also save some cash to upgrade our second Bulma. And basically guys, we are just going to go with the flow depending on those um, cash that we are getting. As you guys can see, I just <laughs> I just sneak in one more Bulma. We're gonna spend another 1,500 on this Bulma as well. Wave number seven, we have here a little bit more tank here decelerate. So we are going to upgrade our Tyrant again but we do not have enough cash yet. But yeah, just make sure that you will upgrade him as soon as possible. All right, so 456. It should not really be that hard. Okay, there you go. Wave clear and upgrade this. I cannot really commentate or explain all the things that I'm doing. But anyway, on wave number eight, you should have at least um, upgrade number three, Kuma. Otherwise, it's gonna be GG for you. And I think that, oh my God, these mobs are pretty tanky. Okay, but that should still be enough. Okay, nice. All right, so the rest of our cash guys, after we manage to kill every single decelerates, we'll go straight to the third Bulma. And we're just gonna place another one. Oh, okay, that was so close. Okay, so wave number nine, we now need to upgrade our Tyrant to upgrade number four. And there you go. All right, so that should be enough to clear these air units together with the other air units there. 
Okay, so what else? What else? What else? All right. <laughs> we are just full auto skipping, guys. So it means that this would be a lot easier if ever you're having some problems, if you will just a little bit be patient. Wave number 10, we are going to place another tyrant here without any upgrade. And we are now also going to upgrade our Bulma there. There you go. We now got one max out Bulma. And again, guys, I cannot really say how many Bulma farm can we actually maxed out because uh, it really depends on the RNG as well. And at the same time, your lag. I mean, if you will upgrade a little bit late, then obviously that's going to be rip. And there you go, guys. We now have another upgrade number three Bulma. Okay, wave number 11. We need to upgrade this Tyrant to upgrade number two. I mean, upgrade number one. And the main reason is that our first Kuma earlier cannot really one clap all of these mobs. So you just really need to assist him with a little bit of a help, you know, and we are now doing good. Actually, look at that. They both can one clap all of those mobs and we are now just going to spend the rest of the cash onto our Bulma farm. 2,500. Hopefully we can actually get 3,000. There you go. And we're just going to place another one. All right, okay, okay, nice. All right, so wave number 12, we are now going to upgrade number three, Kuma. I mean, upgrade number four for the second Kuma because these units are now really, really tanky. Okay, and also we are going to max out. Yeah, I think that we would be ending up having like four maxed out Bulma. And I think that that is the least amount of Bulma that you should have. And we are now in wave number 12. Yeah, not really having any problems yet. And there you go, guys. 3,000 cash. Let's go. Can we actually upgrade this? Come on. Okay, that was not quite enough. All right, so wave number 13. We are now going to place our Blackbeard six star here and set his priority to last. And while doing that, we are going to also place our Erwin. Because obviously, guys, we're going to be doing the 4 cycle Erwin buff. And oh, actually, I think that we. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm just going to continue with the Erwin buff. Screw it. <laughs> All right. Do not panic just like me. Oh, come on. All right. There you go. Because things are really fast at the moment. Because we are full auto skipping. And you're also hearing a lot of ka-ching. Okay, there you go. Wave number 14 now. So we can now also start placing the rest of our Kuma. And also, while doing that, we are going to Shinzo Wasasagio. Okay, there you go. I almost actually upgraded this Kuma to upgrade number 5. But okay, luckily we didn't. All right, there you go. One, two, three. Okay, just make sure, guys, that you are not upgrading your coma more than upgrade number four. Otherwise, it's just going to be a waste, not only for the cash, but also going to be a waste for your DPS because of this SPA. It's going to be worse. By the way, guys, if you have noticed, I actually stopped upgrading our Bulma farm on wave number 13. I'm not saying that it's the best way, but in my opinion, or at least on what worked for me, it's the best time for you to stop upgrading your Bulma because I feel like it's just going to be a waste. But since this is already wave number 15, we are now also going to um, sell our Bulma. But of course, guys, do not forget to always keep your buff up. Otherwise, it's going to be dangerous. All right, there you go. Shinzo Sagio. All right. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm not really moving a lot on my position because it's, again, the ice here is just really annoying. Okay. And by the way, guys, stop placing your Kuma once you already have seven of them because we are going to spend the rest of our cash to our Gilgamesh. Again, guys, I will say this again. If ever we are going to fail this run, it means that we will be needing. Jotaro 6 star but if ever you will bring Jotaro 6 star you can now start placing your Jotaros but since we do not have and we are trying to beat it without Jotaro time stop then the rest of our cash will actually go straight to our Gilgamesh we're only going to be upgrading our Gilgamesh up until upgrade number two there's a cloner here but I think that's going to be nothing and our Gilgamesh look at that guys Gilgamesh is of course still pretty expensive so it's now going to be patience game, guys, because <laughs> I think that we still have like five more waves on the spawn area, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I mean, this map is not really challenging just because of the fact that we have Kuma here. It is almost the same thing when Minato was a meta unit as well. And I think that maybe on the next story mode map, well, unless they will change something else or probably they will buff the starter waves, then maybe the meta for the story mode will be changed. But other than that, yeah, I think that 
it's really gonna be this easy. If you don't have Kuma, by the way, you can always use your six star Golden Frieza, but I'm just not sure about the timing. Yeah, about the timing. But since Golden Frieza, I think will be a little bit more cheaper compared to Kuma, then that would give you more cash to spend on your Jotaro six star if ever you will decide to bring him. All right, so as you guys can see, there are still, a oh, actually I can now see the boss. Ooh, sweet. And we now have here 4,000 extra cash. I think I'm just gonna place him. Yeah, probably here. All right, upgrade him again. And yep, just wait for some more cash again. Yeah, this is now gonna be really a patience game, guys. But at least we are full throttle right now. And we are not really killing them fast, but at least our DPS is kind of like just enough, you know, just to kill them before at least uh, reaching this corner. Some of them will be really, really fast. And look at that, guys. That is the reason why Gilgamesh DPS or Jotaro 6 star DPS would really help you guys because if there will be like a mob, like one mob separated and if the gap will be like bigger than Kuma's circle AoE then that would be a big loss on your splash damage and look at this guys, just like this dude. But yeah, I'm not really worried about that. Okay, just make sure that your Shinzo Wasasagio would always be on point. Wow, he is pretty OP. Okay, now I'm a little bit worried about the cloner later. Oh my god. All right, I'm not sure about these units here, but yeah, I mean, if you got Jotaro 6 star, you can already imagine it, guys, that this should be really easy because they're already slow and pretty sure that your Jotaro 6 star would be able to stun them three times. I'm just hoping that this would actually work, but yeah just make sure shinzo sasagi is here oh my god <laughs> they're not dying pretty fast okay so upgrade this gate again and we're gonna place another one dj khaled okay the boss is already there hopefully the boss is not doing something crazy though otherwise it's gonna be gg for us okay i think that we are now only gonna be working on this cloner over here or actually, yeah, I think that this mob would also die. Just cannot see his HP. Okay, he's gone. Shinzo Sasagi again. Oh, wow. Those regenerator group just got deleted. Cannot really see the HP of the cloner or never mind. Oh, okay. That's nothing. But it now depends on those units that he will actually spawn, I guess. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, okay. That's nothing. 500,000 only. We have all the time in the world because the boss will also be slowed. Nice. It's now only going to be against the boss, guys. I still haven't seen the HP of the boss. Okay. Once the boss here was already slowed, you can now sell your, um, who is this? Blackbeard 6 star. And you can just spend your cash, well, the rest of your cash on placing any DPS, to be honest. But it's much better to just spend it on your Jotaro or to your Gilgamesh because Kuma with two upgrades is uh, a little bit meh. All right, so let me just check the HP. Oh, the HP of the boss is not really that much of an improvement compared to the previous one. I think that that's gonna be clutch, guys. Yeah, I think so. This HP is dropping pretty fast. Okay, nice. Yeah, I think that there's no way that we're gonna lose here unless we're gonna be disconnected, of course. Okay, six and red. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot the tradition. Where is the JoJo pose? There you go. Gonna need to do the flex pose. And yep, I think that should do it. Come on, just die, bro. Easy, full clear. 20 gems and look at that guys, first clear. So there you go guys, that is how easy it is to destroy the newest story mode map. I hope that you actually have all of the units that we used on that run. And also just remember, just use Jotaro 6 star if you have him. I mean, why would you punish yourself just like what I did? It was just a little bit of a flex, you know. But anyway, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. I hope that this video helped and I'll see you guys again in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe. Use star codes no whenever you're buying Robux. And I'll see you guys again in the next one. Stay cold. Fairy Snow out.